Listen up. It's just in. All the gossip. gossip. The rumor report. Gossip. With Angela. Angela Yee. It's the rumor report. The, the Breakfast, Breakfast Club. Club. Well, Envy, you saw French Montana while we were at the iHeartRadio Music Festival in Vegas? Mm-hmm. Well, he put out some new music. One song is called No Stylist, and Drake is on that song. And it's like he takes a little mini tiny shot at those Yeezys. Yeah, even a G, I told her don't win on 350s around me. Uh, those are um, Yeezys, right? Yes. You know, I don't know a lot about the numbers on sneakers or anything like that. Now, we all know that Kanye has an issue right now with anybody talking about his wife. And I just found out that people are insinuating that Drake might have had some type of relationship with Kim Kardashian, which I didn't know about. So it looks like the two of them still have it going. Now, Drake also had to postpone his Miami shows, which I know had to hurt him because he loves Miami. He went on Instagram and said, I just wanted to say how sorry I am about these two Miami shows. I got so ill so fast and I never experienced anything like that in my life. Unlike other show cancellations or date adjustments due to production issues, this one fell on me. And I want to apologize because I hate letting down anyone who comes to share these moments with us. So he said Miami deserves 100 percent. I promise that that experience when we return. Okay. Everybody that was disappointed. He also is going to be doing an NBA-sized basketball court in his Toronto mansion. His Toronto crib looks any games, ridiculous. 35,000 square feet. Yeah, his crib is about as big as a goddamn NBA arena. It's going to have a home Jeez. theater, a champagne bar, a recording studio, a huge pool with a rooftop terrace, bars, gigantic projection screen, a 10-car garage. Mm-hmm. All of those things. So just imagine. Oh, he living, living. He, yeah, he living, living. A hundred percent. Now, Michelle Obama actually just officiated a wedding on Saturday in Chicago. The father of the bride is the deputy mayor of Chicago. And, of course, both the bride and the groom went to Yale as well. So she's also about to go on her 10-city tour for her book, Becoming. They're saying the price of admission started at $30. It went up to 3000 But then they sold out so fast that you could actually, people are reselling them for way more than that. Oh, wow. Yeah, so uh, those tickets went fast, though, so I guess you can command prices like that. The book release date is November 13th, and that's when the tour kicks off as well. Mm-hmm. All right, Justin Bieber and Haley Baldwin, they're getting ready to get married. Now, they already went and got their marriage license, so that's when people were saying they were married already. But they are going to be doing a prenup, and that's about to be negotiated, and they're not going to get married until that prenup is signed. Very smart thing to do for the two of them. Wale was on lip service, and one thing he was talking about is how hard it is for him to be a father, but also have to go on the road to make money. Here's what he said. You know, I always talk about the respect and admiration I have for my daughter's mother for being such a good mother. But I never talk about the pain that comes with being a father on the road. Mm-hmm. I'm not, you know, Russell Simmons, where it's like I could fly my daughter, a nanny, her mother, and everything. I wish I was. Right. And I'm going to keep grinding until I can maybe be that. If I can be that or if I got to go, then she she's good. I'm going to do everything I can to be like that dad that can do that as she get older because she's only two now. Mm-hmm. So I got a little time to cook up stuff. But I made the decision within myself, like, yo, I do a lot to make her and her mother happy. I'm going to try to find some happiness myself. I think it's different also when you don't live with the mother of your child. If you and the mother of your child not together. And you live in different states. Yeah, it's different mm-hmm. because, because you know, for, for guys like me, it's like, yo, I go do my work and go home. Go home. That's it. Yeah, but they're so not together. So if you together. can't do that, then it's a little, it is a little difficult. And, and I do fly my I fly my family out everywhere. Well, he's saying but, he's not at that point that he can do that But now. he doesn't have to do it private. You don't have to fly everybody private. You put them on a, on a, on a plane and, and go with you. Ain't no, no big deal. Yeah, I mean, maybe I it, it is. This is all new for him. But well, so, even if you couldn't afford to do that, if he lived with his woman, that's why it's very important to, like, you know, you got to watch who you're breeding with because, you know, you, you want to be going home to that person. But if you lived with your woman, you could just go to work and then fly well, your ass back home. Well, on service, he talks about the situation of how they grew apart and things like that. So mm-hmm. he probably thought they would end up together mm. and they planned to have a baby and all of that, but life didn't happen that way for him. Right. Now, he also talks about the difficulty he has in being gentle with his own daughter. I have this deficiency, like, where it's like, I'll see my child. I'm crying my eyes. I'm my eyes puffy. I've just calmed down. I walk back in the house and she comes up. It's weird. And nobody might not feel me on this. It's like, go to your uncle. Because I don't even want to energy. To I don't want to I don't want to channel it through you, through picking you up and me crying. Looking at your eyes make me think about what if I lost you? And it's like I had to walk away from my daughter. Like, And that's when I realized I have a real deficiency with being gentle with a small toddler girl. 
Wow. So you got to listen to that whole episode. Hmm. It was almost two hours, our longest episode ever. But he was talking about Mac Miller. He was crying after Mac Miller passed away and his daughter tried to give him a cookie. And he just was crying so hard he couldn't even pick her up. I understand that. My daughter's changed my mood, though. So I get what he's saying. Like when I'm in a, a, a bad mood or like I'm feeling... A little down, like my daughter's instantly changed my mood for the better. As soon as I walk in the house, that, that, I, I get that feeling. Because I'm not bringing none of that energy to the outside world into my crib, no. Hell no. But, you know, part of it he was saying, and I'll end it with this, was just how he was raised and how that makes him have some type of emotional, like, deficiency because he wasn't raised in a loving, like, I love you environment. Hmm. All right, I'm Angela Yee, and that is your Rumor Report.